Hey guys, welcome to Oddstruck Val and the first dedicated cooking vlog for a while. So some of you may be aware who have followed our uh, mooring series that we tried to grow some mushrooms using the plug method in logs. That didn't go so well. We haven't had any anything back from them, which is a shame, but there you go. Um, then, obviously, I found quite a few things foraging, which has been wonderful. Anyway, we're not going to be processing our giant puffball mushrooms. For Christmas, Shell bought me a gourmet mushroom kit, which we've been waiting for the weather to pick up a little bit, because obviously it needs to be of a certain temperature to grow these mushrooms. So they're great oyster mushrooms, and we started it like it's probably two weeks ago so two weeks ago I soaked them soaked the bag prepped it and then a week later the uh, mushrooms started to pin so that's when the very very small heads of the mushroom starts to develop so yesterday we harvested them growing these mushrooms we've been decorating the boat it's chaos and you'll be able to see that in next week's vlog to do the mushrooms today I need to put everything back so we've essentially done the whole of the uh, salon area and the kitchen area as you can see I don't know if you can see the color difference between the the satin white and the old white. So now, I'm just going to sort out all this. And that's just the chaos that happens when you're doing things in a very small space. So I'm going to get crack on with that and then we can prep for our oyster mushroom recipe. Right then, we've tied it up. It still looks a bit of a bomb site, but it's a lot better than it was. And it's um, clean now for us to cook. Um, so this recipe, I will write after I've done it. I'm just gonna make it up. I've got a few ideas for spices and things. Um, and we'll let Shell be the judge of whether it's successful or not. And if it is successful, I'll write a blog post with the recipe. Let's get on with it. Right, I'm going to um, put together the sauce. I'm going to use Henderson's maple syrup, liquid smoke, paprika, cumin, and tomato sauce. Uh, tomato ketchup. And then do a taste test. So I'm ready to go with the actual cooking of the mushrooms but obviously what we're going to have it with and then a little warm salad to go with it you're looking forward to your mushrooms dearest i can't wait i'm starving is that because you were really drunk again last night no it's your sister's fault <laughs> big gin measures <laughs> not need two hundred bucks we got it so for this recipe, it's best to get everything, all of the oil really hot before you go in with the mushrooms. So the idea is to, we're gonna, let me just put me in focus. The idea is we're gonna put the clump on one side and then turn it over, brown the other side, wait for the juices and everything to burn off so there's no liquid. And then we're gonna add the marinade once it's all cooked so no seasoning at all before it's cooked so we're going to brown it both sides and then add the seasoning but yeah get your oil really hot and if you can open all your windows and everything because there will be smoke 
unless you've got a really good uh, extraction system in your house, if you're not on a boat. We have hatch and bow doors open. That's as good as the extraction system gets. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to use this pan. I made sure the bottom's clean. As a weight to compress the mushrooms, that will hopefully maximise the flavour. But I'll, uh, I'll have to wait till Shell's judgement for that. Who knows? Because I'm winging it. So let's go in with the mushrooms. Best bank holiday tea ever. Delicious. Something we definitely need to do more of, isn't it? Imagine having that like every week, a couple of times a week. Nice. Do so much for that. Mm, nice and meaty, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you for buying it, mean Papa. Pleasure. I'm <laughs> hoping we'll get another two or three flushes out of it. Yeah. I'm glad you've got so much enjoyment out of it. And I have too. <laughs> yeah, watching them grow has been amazing, hasn't it? Really special. It's like an alien life, life form. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. Um, I think we got the better deal, to be honest. Um, if you want to see more cooking videos, please uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, all the things that I've used that are a bit unusual, like the liquid smoke and things, I'll put links to in the description. I'll put the recipe in the description and I'll also do a blog post on our website. So check that out if you're interested. Um, thanks, huge thanks to Shell for buying me the kit. I'll put a link to the kit as well, obviously. And just the uh, thanks to Fungi, they're amazing. Watching them grow and then eating them has just been phenomenal. Definitely something that we're going to um, do more of. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be great. And take care of yourself. And love yourself. And love your food. <laughs> See you soon.